Capricorn, hello. Welcome to Lady of the Unknown Oracle. My name is Sophie. I hope that you are having a beautiful day. For those of you who are joining for the very first time, welcome in. I hope that you enjoy your reading today. And for those of you who are returning, thank you so much for your love and support. Thank you for letting me reconnect with your energy. You make what I do possible. So thank you so much for being here. Um, Capricorn, we're going to go ahead and jump right into your reading. Okay, this is going to be for this week coming up. So March 15th to the 21st. It's going to be a general reading, so it can touch on any major energies that you can expect for the week coming in. Um, love, career, personal development, you can apply it to whatever you're inquiring about. Uh, because it is general, remember that it may not resonate, um, and it won't resonate for everybody. Uh, so just take what does and leave the rest behind. Okay, if it doesn't resonate, that is perfectly okay. And uh, yeah, let's go ahead and jump right in. I'm going to lower this so we can look at the cards. If you are wanting more information about me and the channel, you can find additional information in the description box below. Let's see what's going on, please, for Capricorn. Capricorn, please, for this week coming in. What does Capricorn need to know, please? What does Capricorn need to know? The tower tried to come out. Okay. Does Capricorn need to know, please? Capricorn, please. Capricorn. Okay. Could be connecting with a Scorpio, Taurus, um, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Okay. So overarching energy here is the Eight of Wands. So there could be some uh, very, very quick, fast moving communication coming in with a lightning bolt that tells me that whatever this is, um, it'll definitely be a shocking message, something that you're not expecting. Now, because I am seeing some pain and some confusion here, this could, uh, this message uh, will most likely be the source of some sort of anxiety or uncomfortable experience. Somebody could be getting something off of their chest this week. They're tired of living with this anxiety and honestly, it's just frustrating them. This could be you or someone that you're connecting with. For those of you where this is, you know, just an individual experience, right? This could be you getting in contact with somebody, uh, somebody more stable than yourself in the term, in, in, in way of a family member, a friend, uh, an authority figure, right? Somebody who is going to be able to provide some level of stability for you just because there is this sort of evaluation of a, um, a disharmony, right? With the Seven of Swords, there is someone that might not be completely honest with themselves, with you, whatever it is, it's, it's robbing you of mental peace, right? Somebody here is being robbed of mental peace. They are waiting for results that are not coming. Someone is you know, looking at this and believing that something is going to come of the situation when in reality someone is holding back quite a lot, either, you know, in terms of commitment, someone could just be holding back their true emotions and their true thoughts on a situation, but there seems to be this stagnant energy and someone is trying to break out of it this week. All right. Um, definitely a lot of pain associated with this. So if this is you know, kind of like a prior experience that caused you pain, it's going to be brought back up this week to be addressed, right? Definitely something, definitely something on someone's heart though. Something on someone's heart is needing to be revealed and it will be revealed this coming week. And it could have something to do with a partnership. It, this, whatever this communication is, it feels very much like it is going to, um, it is going to decide or, it is going to question the direction of a partnership, okay? Now, for some of you who have been watching tarot for a while, you know that multiple threes can indicate a third party situation, but this does not necessarily mean that the third party is in terms of infidelity, right? That th this particular combination of threes can be indicative of working with multiple people, people who you really do enjoy working with. The problem is how do you manifest this thing? You guys have ideas, you have this, this notion, this feeling 
of what direction you want to take this into if it's a project or a task right there could be some sort of figure here who you guys are trying to work with but they're not telling you something right they're not being completely forthright with why there might be obstacles in your way there might have been a breach in communication previously and it's getting in the way of your gut you guys being able to move forward um if this is you know a third party situation somebody here is going to be revealing feelings of frustration feelings of this stagnant energy it could also be that their true feelings evoke these emotions within you cap right there could be something here that this person shares with you that makes you feel like you're ready to just take this in a different direction right you want to be happy you don't want to be sitting here in this three of swords nine of swords seven of swords energy there is somebody here who is wanting stability but then another person is bringing they're like kind of dragging this weird frustration this this past pain into a situation and if this is you just you know irrespective of another person this is you wanting to just leave all that drudgery behind and it's getting complicated to do that because you all you have all these options now right you have all these options now that are kind of trying to pull you out back into the dating scene or trying to pull you out of your shell and you're not quite there yet even though one day you do maybe this week right you're just not quite there even though all of these options are being presented to you you know um but ultimately there is a feeling here of wanting to make progress quickly and I will say that I am not seeing progress being made quickly just because there are choices here and somebody trying to do one thing by being stable and another person trying to rock the boat. So there's a little bit, although the five of wands is not here, it feels very much like a back. <sighs> wow, sorry about that, Cap. Um, but yeah, you know, I just, I definitely feel like even though earth is your energy, right? Earth is your, earth is your energy. The Queen of Pentacles is representative of Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. I do feel that even if you are a masculine energy, you are still very much in alignment with this feminine energy this week of wanting to be grounded and wanting to nurture something and wanting, you know, this time and effort that you're investing into a person or a situation. You want it to come back to you. You want to be able to see the fruits of your labor come in. And there is, there's something, um, there is something that is blocking your vision Right? There is something here that is, is there's something that is blocking your vision of what the truth is, right? Somebody has been miscommunicating or leaving out important details. Either you are finding that out through someone else, right? I'm getting that for some of you. Either you're going to find it out through someone else and that's going to be a reason for some heartache and frustration, or you're going to hear it directly from the person about why it is your expectations of them or the situation as a whole have been misplaced and this has become a little bit of a sore spot for you because you are going to get to a point where you know what you want and the people or the person you thought could help you achieve it are showing themselves to be on a different page and now you're asking yourself what do i do with this information now that it is here and so the advice for you right is the page of swords with the queen of cups so the Queen of Cups is turned around. So she's blocking her feelings off from this. Um, you also have the Five of Cups here. So the idea here is that if people are coming through with some sort of messages or, or communications that are a little bit rough around the edge and not exactly what you want to hear, this could be in the form of like, you know, text messages, um, direct messages, right? Just online emails. Or it could just be people who are really not smooth communicators. And so they might be a little bit hurtful when they um when they select their words when they speak to you the the idea the feeling here is to not take anything personally don't focus on the negatives right with the five of cups it's okay to feel disappointed absolutely you know definitely feel disappointed if you feel like there is something major that's been lost in all of this mourn it you know grieve it it's okay it's okay to you know see something that you thought was going to happen not happen and then feel bad about it but don't let it get to your core right the, the, the upside of all of this is that you know what you want and so even though the people or the person that you were trying to create this with are not suited to the task that you were hoping they would be up for you know it happens and it's okay and you can do this and eventually 
right? Once you move past this, you are going to find the solution. You are absolutely going to find the solution because what was confusing before is no longer confusing. You are overcoming. You have three sevens, okay? The seven is linked to the chariot. So once you find your center, once you find your balance, the determination is already there. You know where you're going. It's just a matter of assembling the pieces, right? It's a matter of assembling the pieces. So you're on board, the people you were trying to connect with, or the person you were relying on, um, or even that other version of yourself, the more improved version of yourself, you were really depending on a part of you or these elements to being in balance so that you can move forward and tackle that goal and reach that, that, that outcome, right? And something here has floundered. Some sort of pain is interfering with that, but you overcome it by realizing that not all is lost and that what you've gained is insight and that that is more valuable than anything else because previously you didn't have this insight. Right? Knowledge is power. So moving forward, you know where you're going and who you need or who you need to be in order to reach the conclusion that you were ultimately after. So you do not have to allow other people or even your own thoughts get in the way of your motivation. Right? If you have a thought, let it pass through. Let it pass through. Let it do its thing. Let it notice it, acknowledge it, and let it pass through. Grieve it. But make sure you keep it moving. Make sure you keep it moving. Keep pushing every day. You know, you know what you're, you know what you're trying to do. Keep moving. Keep it moving, even if it's slow, right? It's like when you run, when you run a race, right? It's it's about finishing the race, even if you're walking across the finish line, even if you're practically limping. But the goal here is to not stop. So as long as you're moving, no matter how slowly, it's only a matter of time before you reach it. So. Do not give up on yourself. Do not give up on this situation. It is valid. What you're feeling and everything you're experiencing is valid, right? Grieve the loss, but maintain that strength that you've been carrying through all of this because ultimately you are the master of this creation and you are going to reach that outcome. I can feel it, Cap. You're going to reach that outcome, okay? So my love, I'm going to leave this here. Thank you so, so much for allowing me to read with you, um, to connect with your energy. Thank you so much. I feel so blessed and so honored. And I hope that this helped and any information you need about me or the channel can be found in the description box below. I love you so very much, Capricorn. Thank you so much for being here with me. I'm sending you all of my love. I hope you have a great day and a great week and I will see you in about a week's time. Okay, I love you so much.